Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're out at two in the morning. We're gonna go to the boat, get the long lines, and we're gonna go set them. I dug some fresh clams today, so we got beautiful bait for the gilthead bream, and that's predominantly what we're gonna try and target. And we'll see what we can get. Smash fishing, baby. Woo! Got lovely fresh bait, and I've made a load of wraps up, so it saves me a lot of time on the beach. And we're about half an hour till low water. I kept all of the shells. So when we set the long line out, I'm gonna spread these shells all around it, creating a nice little scent slick. And uh, hopefully that brings a nice gilt head our way. Uh, if we've got any hooks spare, I've got some Orma guts that I'm gonna thread on the hooks. And fingers crossed, we can get something to eat. So we've got two fishermen's anchors, nice heavy ones, and they will dig in the ground like this. And then the long line pollen on it only digs it deeper. Great little anchors for doing stuff like this. We've got two marker boys. I've got a little um, plastic thing with a registration number on it. Uh, so just in case something happens to this, uh, but nothing will. This is only gonna be out for about six hours. It's gonna be from low tide to high tide. I'm gonna come out in the boat and we'll come and pull it up. Look at that for an old anchor. That's a beast. Puts mine to shame. <laughs> Lovely to see though. You find that a lot in Guernsey. You find anchors on the low water marks. We have found our spot. It's a big mixture of this reefy sort of rough ground. And there's giant pools here. So I'm thinking as that tide comes up, the fish are going to use this as a natural channel to swim out the bay. So I'm going to put my long line all the way along this. And hopefully... The crabs don't eat our bait before the fish do. We've got our bobber set up here. Just to let everyone know there's fishing gear here. So I use these little yellow ones. And then obviously I'll have my tag on that as well. So I'll throw that over there. Clip that to the anchor. And then from here we run our long line straight to the other one. Ain't going nowhere. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bury these anchors. Once I get the long line out, I'm gonna bury them up, put some boulders on top, and they will never move. There we go guys, that's locked in, that's not going anywhere. The more that pulls, the, the deeper this will go. So we're all set up. The long line was a bit long, so I've shortened it up about, I don't know, 20 yards. So we're right along the reef. The other one's set in. So we've got to do now, bait some lines up and clip them on. First of all, just gonna scatter these shells around a bit. And we get a trace out. And all of these, all made ready. That's all I'm doing. It's just clipping them on like so. And I've got to do that. I think we've got 27 hooks all together. So we'll see how we get on. We've got fresh gaper clam, fresh razor clam, and all my guts. Quite a time consuming job doing this long line, that's for sure. Like baiting up all the hooks and uh, prepping all the baits, especially clam where you've got to wrap them in, uh, in bait elastic. It really does take a long time, but it's always interesting to see what you can find. We've got about eight hooks to go and we're on a winner. I'm gonna come back in the boat tomorrow and pull it up. So I don't want to leave this out where Dogs might be able to get near it or anything like that. Hence the reason I've come out at two in the morning. 
It's because uh, I want to get to this before it dries out. One there, and I'm spacing them out every sort of eight foot or so. And uh, I'm trying to leave them away from the water so when the tide comes in, they wash about a bit. It stops the crabs getting to them so much. We just had enough traces to go about eight foot every time. There we go, last one of the night. And we just had enough clam baits as well. I didn't have to use any Orma guts. So there's two clam baits left here. I'm going to stick both of them on this last hook. You beauty. Fingers crossed. If we can get some big old gilt head bream, that'd be lovely. See, beautiful sized baits, all fresh clam as well. Can't go wrong. Beautiful. That one's on there. Anchor's just over here. And we're ready to roll. There we go. There's the other line all wrapped up. And what I'm going to do is both lines are thrown this direction because the tide's going to come in from here. I don't want my bobber tangling up with my long line, so it's a good note that. Keep your bobber on the way the tide's going to be coming in. And these are, it's not a very long rope. This is just literally just to mark that there's fishing gear here. And there we go. Throw that over there. And we're ready to roll. So there we go, guys. Don't know if you can see down the long line there, but they are spaced out nicely. And like I said, I've got all the shells in amongst the rocks here. Fingers crossed, that brings a nice old gilt head in. I'm hopefully, I haven't used any sort of sand eel or peeler crab or anything like that, because I'm trying not to catch bass. But there's always a very good chance of getting them with clam, but I, f I figure gilt heads prefer it, so hopefully we win. We've arrived back at the dinghy. Nice. So I'll chuck that on there. And then tomorrow, we'll come out and get it. Hopefully, we get lucky. Back on the boat now, guys. It's morning, and so now 10 o'clock in the morning. So this has had a six and a half hour soak. Hopefully, we got a nice gilt head. I've been determined to catch gilt head on the long line, but um, I just haven't had the bait to do it. So fingers crossed today we get lucky. But uh, with long lining, it's a lot of work, but I love the I love the feeling of not knowing what's coming up. So it's not I haven't long been awake. So if I look like I've got tea bags under my eyes, it's because I do. <laughs> Got the start of the long line. Fingers crossed we can get some fish. Got our anchors in there well. <laughs> Come on. Give us some fish. I'm always excited to do this. Is it worth the hassle of setting it all up? <laughs> right. And all I'm going to do is just pull myself along the long line. And hopefully, we can come across my fish. Oh, there's a fish on here, I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. There was definitely something kicking. I've got the net next to me, guys. Let's see what we've got. Oh, there's definitely something kicking on here. It's going crazy, I can feel it swimming. got here there is a big bass that's a big bass I'm just gonna get the net guys there we go first fish of the day a lovely basil
So there we go. First fish on the long line, probably a four pound bass that. That is a beauty of a bass. I'm right next to a crab pot, so I'm gonna throw this back and hopefully we can get some more fish. That's a lovely fish, that. But bass is not what we're after today. Oh, you can feel it fighting on the line. That's amazing. Hopefully we get a big gilt head. It's a nice calm day today. There's just a little onshore breeze, so if there's any wind noise, I do apologize. We're gonna slowly work our way through all these hooks. Hopefully, we get a gilt head. Like I say, I don't want to land bass. I'm not after bass. We're halfway across the long line yet. We've already had that big bass. I felt something kicking before. Hopefully. Oh yeah, there's a fish on here. Where is he? Come on. Give me that fish, baby. Hopefully, hopefully it's the target species. I can feel it kicking. <laughs> Something coming up. Is it another bass? Looks like another bass. We were trying to avoid bass, but it's inevitable using any sort of bait like that. there it's one big one one little one we've had but no guilties not yet oh there's more kicking oh there's more kicking come on what are we gonna get i love that you can feel them kicking on the line here comes another fish it's another bass there's loads of bass around at the moment where's all the guilt heads <laughs> Here he comes. That's probably a three pounder. There we go, another bass. Another good bass as well. There we go, lovely big bass that one. About a three pounder or so. Still, we haven't had our special guilt head. Come on. We've caught well so far. The fresh clam certainly worked. But it just hasn't brought up the right species yet. There's another fish coming up. What is it? It's another bass. Oh, good size as well. Really good size bass. Look at that one. What a beauty. Just going to get him unhooked. And there you go, guys. This is why I wanted to come early to the long line. Is, uh, I didn't want any dead fish or gut hooked fish. All of the bass today have been hooked just in the lip. So that's ideal. There you go guys, yeah, a load of bass, no gilt heads, <laughs> all good bass though, all between four, two to four pound, it's 
not bad going that quite happy with that hopefully next time we can get some uh, some gilt heads i was really hoping for one today but can only catch what's there all right i'm gonna go lure fishing for a bit hopefully we can get some bass that way and we're off oh well no gilt heads that was quite fun that quite a few bass i really don't want to catch bass but that's all that's there the happy day That's all for today's episode guys, I didn't get any bass on the lures, I tried a few spots but there weren't nothing around. Loads of bass on the long line, that was quite interesting. I'd rather catch gilt heads but you just can't help catching bass. Doesn't matter what bait you use, there's always one going to show up eventually. But hey ho, if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. There'll be plenty more to come. It's smash fishing baby. Woo!